Good morning, folks. Welcome to a new week of uh, streaming, and also, welcome to a new fundraising venture. Well, I won't say new, because me, myself and other members of Hotchko's stream team have tried have done fundraising for uh, the LGBTQ uh, Freedom Fund and like other related charities before, but we're we're starting that back up now. So, Hotchko is in a more stable place now, so we are pivoting to that. So I am starting to fundraise for the LGBTQ Freedom Fund, which helps uh, pay bail to secure safety and liberty for individuals in jail and immigration detention. Especially that for LGBTQ folks, which, you know, is good. Hello, 3Gs. Good morning. It's wonderful to see your beautiful face so early. <laughs> uh, I'm just doing my uh, fundraising spiel because we're, do we're starting to fundraise for uh, a charity today, which is the LGBTQ Freedom Fund. But... Anyhow, to if you if you wish to donate to that below my stream, there should be a big green donate button along with like the LGBTQ Freedom Fund. Also, the chat bot switched over to share that as well, and there's a command for it, which is like exclamation point donate. And I think when the stream goes live, there should be a QR code on the overlay now, as well that makes it even easier. So, anyway, you choose to help. Super cool. Super appreciated. And look, we have a we have a few new changes to the layout. Our my campaign I made it's called Thick Thighs Save Trans Lives. <laughs> I tried to I tried I tried to be funny sometimes. <laughs> Anywho, let's get the let's get the ball rolling. We got some we got some metal slimes to to bully. Come on, you want you want you want to work so bad. You want to work so bad. Come come on, game. Thank you. I'm not the biggest fan of how that stuff covers my screen, but the only other place to be able to move it would be like the upper right where the Black Lives Matter is, and that's not negotiable. So we'll we'll just we'll deal. Where did we save last? Um, uh, Baccarat. All right. Last time we went, we finally found where this place was, and we went and started doing stuff here. And the casino owner was previously murdered by. You can probably guess who. <laughs> oh, I. Oh, I, trust me. As soon as we're done playing this, we're playing that. There's no. We're gonna be like no downtime with that shit. <laughs> I want it too. It looks cute. Like that game, that game is absolutely on my radar. It's been on my radar ever since I saw them talking. I was like, because I was like, hmm, this feels like a Dragon Quest Monsters game. Like extremely so. All right, so I'm trying to remember where I went to that got me to. Um, oh, well, I guess we're going somewhere. <laughs> I have to finally was pressing buttons, and I guess we're probably Fairbury or some shit. Oh, would you look at that? Yep, Fairbury. <laughs> no, that's a little. That's a little far away. Okay, yeah, the bottom left corner of the map is where we're gonna be going for this. So, um, hmm.
Okay, that... Okay. Maybe Simpleton? Hmm. I'm just trying to think of the best way to game this. Of how to get there with the least amount of, uh... Of sea travel. Maybe this? Let's find out. Let's see how fucked up... Fucked over I'm gonna get if I can actually sail from here. If this is even the right place on the map. I'm just kind of guesstimate. No, that's the wrong place on the map. So it's the place before there. See, I don't even know my geography of this fucking place. Um, Peregrine Quay, I guess. <laughs> That's wrong, too! <laughs> well, that's fine. I got so much zoom, it doesn't even matter. Um... Oh, that's a scanther, huh? Yeah, that's gotta be a scantha. I almost forgot about there. Like on like the second or third stream, I came here early to try to find a. Uh... Oh, that's not bad. I came to Escantha early to try to get some gear upgrades, and I couldn't aff really afford them. But I got the fly point. They're a little dated, but we'll, we'll fight them. Oh no, one damage! <clears throat> Got him! Let's actually check the, the alchemy pot, since it's kinda... Well, it's probably been done for a while. I remember in the last stream, I was just very determined to find where this slime island was. So I kinda got a little uh, tunnel visioned. kind of have to sail just kind of southeast-ish and hope I don't get destroyed. Like horribly by the ocean life because I might be going into a part of ocean that has whatever you are. <laughs> I haven't seen these yet so that's probably not a good sign. Um... Okay, maybe it may Maybe I overreacted. <laughs> That's okay. I, I would prefer to overreact to a new enemy I haven't seen yet, as opposed to a the opposite. I could probably use like a the holy water or something, but with how some of the enemies are, it's probably not gonna do much. Some of them are probably like on par with not being weak, quote unquote. <clears throat> uh, 
Ah, uh, King Kelp, we meet again! Make it a bit of a pain to get into this place. Sure. But admittedly, once we get there, everyone else isn't really going to be using their MP all that much, because, well, the Metal Slimes are a bit immune to spells. The only thing that's going to really do anything to them is Hatchet Man, or if we could just get a lucky crit from someone. Whatever, send them, send, send them to hell. Are you serious? I just killed those. Punk ass. I mean, if they give me more XP, I don't know if I care, but they probably won't. <clears throat> don't you do it again. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> Was down to one and it used her plonk and brought all of its friends back to life. I don't know if that kind of is killing two of them. They basically killed two encounters of those bastards. Alright, I think we're going a little too far. Uh, well, we're, I think we're in the right place because these guys are kind of on the way. How much HP Yangus has, it'd probably be better just to use a full heal on him. Instead of any of this little piecemeal healing shit. Like. Yeah, easily. I also bought a bunch of uh, herbs so I can just kind of use them to heal instead of MP. <clears throat> Good morning, Ventus. Good morning. Hello. We are going. We're trying to get back to the slime island that I found uh, last stream, like the unmarked one. Oh, we got some friends. Well, I don't know if I'd say friends, but we have some enemies.
<clears throat> well, the anchors are dead. It does sound fun. I mean, there's some other things out there other than slimes, but that's a pretty good place to find uh, liquid metal slimes, which are our main uh, target. <clears throat> Oh, thank you. Appreciate that. Hope you, hopefully, you have a great day at work. I work in, e in the in the afternoon and evening time, so I understand the whole like just going to work for a long time thing. It's not it's not much fun. Alchemy, Alchemy pot's done. I'm gonna watch this thing like a hawk. <clears throat> I'm trying a different a different way to get there than what I did last time, which last time I went from um let me see, let me look at the map again. Last time I went from Baccarat and kinda of went like north near the one island up there to kinda of wrap around, but now I try to go from Ascantha and go in that way, which I don't know which one's better. Anchorman. Well, I mean, that that's what they are. Not very threatening. <clears throat> well, that's a lot of enemies. Uh, well. The pigfish guys could do Kerplunk, and I do not want that to happen. Thanks to her sex appeal skill, that monster just decided not to attack. And I'm hoping that works on Metal Slimes too, because that would make it really easy to, turn, to kill them. Ooh, more chests. Rene, Rene Power. Pow powder. We gotta be close to this island. Somewhere. It's gotta be nearby, somewhere. <clears throat> More enemies, woohoo!
I mean, just try to find this. Up oh, right, there it is. There it is. I think it's at the crossroad. The cro like literally the cross point of the map. Like, let me uh, zoom back out. Like this cross point that the air, the pointer is going to be going towards. I think it's literally there. At That was underwhelming. <laughs> you want a boat? I got just a perfect. Hello, Necky. It's early for you. Welcome. <laughs> I should have known. I should I should have known. <laughs> oh, <that's> <laughs> ah. oh. That, that crab raid made me the dem our demise. Because <laughs> our two our two casters just didn't get to move. <laughs> yeah, crab raid too. That's also a good fitting for this. Oh come on! I just killed that. I just killed that spot. Kiwi <laughs> Kiwi said sleep is over. Yeah, sometimes. Yeah. How many goddamn shades are you gonna sh summon? So, it, it feels like it. Kiwi is the boss. <laughs> yes. Jesus Christ, that was a lot of XP. Oh hey, we found Slime Island. For what it's worth. Just gotta get there. Yeah, it's definitely at that cross point of the map there. Like, the, the li lines of latitude and longitude meet up and that's where this island is. Oh god damn it, go away. It yelled back at me. Alright, cool. <laughs> Uh, 
Alright, wait, let's heal up with herbs or whatever. There are some other enemies on this island, but those things are rare monsters you don't usually find anywhere else. Oh yeah, there's no just no map of this place. <laughs> Period. Alright, what we got? Oh, slimes. Yeah, they're gonna make a they're gonna make a, they're gonna make a king slime. Let's I don't wanna deal with that. Oh no, they, they blocked the way. Well I was I thought they were gonna make a king slime, but I guess they're just gonna run away. And they're somehow faster than I am. <laughs> Alright. Pot's done. Soup's on. Mm -mm -mm. Soup. Strong medicine soup. All right. I'm kind of just exploring this island now, because I didn't really get the opportunity to last stream. You know what? Sorry guys, but... <laughs> oh wait, these ones might be the ones to form a... Yeah, these ones are the ones that want to form a king slime. I, I think they need... Oh, Jesus Christ! Well, fuck you. Oh. It's... These ones are a little more uh, durable. Well, let's try again. As entertaining as it is just to kind of swat these little guys down. We're just, we'll, 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 um, we'll just defend and let them... Uh... Actually, no. We'll... Let's psych up. I rarely ever use psych up. King, you better not miss. I don't plan to. <laughs> oh no, I still have the wrong name. Oh well, I'll fix that in a sec. Because it is in fact not the Equality Texas Foundation. <laughs> Whoops, I thought I changed that. I got I got the link updated, just somehow not the name, Jesus Christ. I was in a bit of a rush this morning to get that fixed over. I definitely did not change that. <laughs> well. Alright, there we go. I, I got that fixed now. Don't don't worry. Do not look behind the curtain! <laughs> It's not just a big dumbass 
trying to really hurriedly change things to fit the, the new fundraiser. Oh, Yang is leveled up. Six skill points. He's an axe master. Well, that makes him a little better with the axes. Alright. <clears throat> Oh, well, these are some of the other friends that live here. They're a little obnoxious, but they give a lot of they give a good amount of gold for what they are, so I don't really mind fighting them. Oh it was a locked chest that was a mimic. <laughs> okay, well I mean I guess it makes sense they live here. Why would there just be a a, a different a not mimic chest? Oh, are you serious? Well, that's annoying. I guess I'm lucky they didn't do thwack. Give me the boss I want to raise, please. <clears throat> Funniest thing being, Yangus is the only reason we're here because he has Hatchet Man. So now we gotta bring him back to life with Zing. Oh well. At this point, I don't know if his HP even matters, because if anything is going to try hurting him, it's probably going to uh, either insta-kill him or not be able to hurt him whatsoever, so we'll leave him at his current HP until it becomes a problem. Ugh, mimics and slimes. <laughs> Sleep on the job. Really? God damn it. <laughs> oh, you get to do that twice. Oh, that's not that's not fun. Alright, maybe these guys are a little uh, more problematic than I thought they were gonna be. Um Yeah, they might be a little more problem. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> you die and you die. Everyone gets to die. Yeah, we're, we're gonna have to like full heal Angelo now. And this this is a weird situation. Oh, you missed. Oh, they're, they're out of MP, so they can't do thwack anymore. Or whack, or whatever. Yeah, Angel would've gotten... just 
murdered. Oh yeah, I guess you have enough MP left. Fuck you. Rude ass. They really want MP. <laughs> Fuck you, chest. Noxious ass box. <laughs> God damn. Yeah, I don't remember having this much trouble against them last stream. But maybe I just got lucky. I probably just got lucky. Alright, let's just piss away all our MP trying to do zing. Well, that is a uh, un uh, expected um, problem with this place. I'll admit. Well, let's try. I haven't found a si I haven't found a single liquid metal slime yet. That's kind of funny, but oh fuck you! Okay, I'm glad we were able to run away. That would that would have kind of got really messy if I wasn't able to. Wait, why am I whistle? I can just whistle. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh, I need to heal after this battle. There's one. All right, well, let's see if it runs away. It's, it's pretty likely. Oh, I decided to stick around. We might have a chance. Nope, we missed, so it's probably gonna run away, run away next turn. Oh, we smacked it. It's probably only got like 6 HP, so if it sticks around, it might just die. Oh, nope. <clears throat> nope, it, le it left. Eh, that's fine. We got two. We got two XP. <laughs> All right, let's try again. Oh, all right. Well, there's another one. Let's try again. I'm out of here. <laughs> this game my tag is boring. I'm out of here. <laughs> well, this one. Stuck around too. Got him. And that's why I'm that and that's why I'm here. <laughs> Oh, now you have Zing. Okay, that's nice. Better late than never. Boomerang skills improve. A boom, a boomer ranger, or boomer ranger. I get. I don't know. Starburst throw. <clears throat> that's a good love up for Angelo too. Becomes an arrow artist. Chance of landing a critical hit with a bow and arrow increase. What the fuck kind of level up is that? Holy shit, Jessica! Twenty MP. All right. Good effort. She comes a head turner. Orange fuddle. Oh. That's actually slightly useful. Alright. Well, let's try some more. Oh god, two of them. Well, I can guarantee I can almost guarantee one of them is not sticking around, so let's start over 
Babe's laundry's in the shower of a burning light. Well. Sure. Oh, they both stuck around. Well, that's kind of fun. Let's cast more zings, my child. <laughs> oh, that actually does damage! <laughs> Alright, well, that one's dead. That's funny. I, I thought that was just gonna, like, like, try to charm them or something. But no, that actually does damage. I mean... Savando has some uh, blow kiss uh, weapons that, that some blow kiss uh, moves too. Cause he's like the best fucking character in DQ11, like bar none. Like, he, he... oh, that one stuck around too. All right, well, we might have a a doubler on our hands here. Oh, we got both of them. Holy shit. Well, that's a, a level up or two. Yeah, that feels good. No, not, not clubs. <laughs> oh, the power. Becomes an ace axer. Learns parallax. Level 30 for... For the hero. Nice. Oh, that's a good... That's a lot of HP. Holy shit. Five skill points. More boomerangs. Courage improves. He becomes brave. Learns tingle. Oh, that's useful. For paralysis and all that. 28 for you. Another really good HP level up. Jesus Christ, Jessica! That's a really good level up. <laughs> Eight skill points. Holy shit! They must really want us to freaking get get a lot of sex appeal, I guess. All right, well, this has already been a very fruitful um, endeavor. Oh no! <laughs> Oh, okay, this is the King Slime group. That's probably why I can't run from them, because they're just fast. Oh, you, sh you made some friends show up. Well, more friends. Alright, fine, we'll fight them. The king has arrived, and he has left. <clears throat> oh, it's you. Oh, it's you. Well, that's slightly annoying. Alright, bye. <laughs> hmm, I wonder who you are. I have, I have a feeling I know what kind of, which group of slimes this is. Yep. That's what I thought. The king has returned!
Oh wow, that's like a did a, did a lot. Jesus. All right, calm down. Holy shit. I have not been using Psych Up, as you can probably tell, because, god damn, that's impressive. Huh. Alright, maybe I should have been using Psych Up. Alright, uh, now that's a lot of damn Billy Mace here! <laughs> right? All right, well, battle's over. Battle's over, everyone, go home. Candlebox gives us a uh, pot lid. Not what I was expecting. I was expecting an iron nail. <laughs> All right, we could probably run from these ones. Yeah, I think those are just like three bog standard like two XP slimes. Oh, the, this group, huh? You know, let's see what, let's see Starburst throw, because that's something we just recently learned. If the damn, if the damn Mimic doesn't put us to sleep again. Oh, well, that's pretty good. Alright, cool. I guess that's what I'm probably going to be doing when more when uh, mimics show up, because they're just kind of silly. Can box is a uh, iron nail. Cool. Thanks. <laughs> I guess. Oh, Mimic, you're back! Oh, they're too stunned to move, huh? Oh, fuck you! <laughs> nice! <laughs> Alright, well, let's... Keep going. I'm, I'm basically staying here until Yangus runs out of MP for Hatchet Man, and then we'll leave. Oh, hello. Speaking of Hatchet Man, let's see if you want to focus strike kick well, par occasionally paralyzing an enemy. Okay. Hatchet Man, you. Oh, that's actually surprisingly good. If it's if it's six around, I might just die next turn, like actually die, like a, a, a mortal death, like not like from Hatchet Man, but oh yeah, it might just be dead anyway. Cause Angelo can actually do damage to this thing, kind of. Oh yeah, we just killed it. All right, that works. I wasn't really expecting that, but all right. That w I mean, I'm not gonna complain. <laughs> Twenty nine. Kill six skill points. All right. Becomes a wonder archer. Proves his chair barrel arrow technique and masters Ser seraph zero. Which I'm guessing means he can steal more MP. Which is probably good because he's a little low on MP right now. <laughs> right. Oh no! Sis! Good, good talk. <laughs> Sir, sir, a secret technique that recovers even more MP than than Chera. Yeah, we'll we'll try that. Just, I don't know. Oh God damn it, Jessica! 
<laughs> I, I need to figure out something else to do with chain of points, because the transform thing's fun and all. But that's I think it's the most expensive thing I really have. Which, well, yeah. So if y'all have any ideas for things I could do with chain of points, feel free to let me know. I don't want to make uh, the sound alerts cost that, because, I mean, that just doesn't sound very much fun. Ooh. Hey, that's okay. I mean, I don't know either. I can't really be upset at you for not knowing if I don't know. <laughs> oh, she got a level up. She was, must have been pretty close. God damn, that's a good level up, too. Oh, it's this, it's, it's, it's this group. Huh, strange, those ones still just give the same XP. Yeah, whatever. Oh! Well, alright. Guess we might as well just psych up and then murder him next turn, because this is almost certainly the King Slime group. Oh, wait, was this just eight normal slimes? Alright, well, I guess it's just eight normal slimes instead of... Yeah, those aren't those weren't the ones I thought they were. Because <laughs> there's two different, like, enemy IDs for a slime. One of them just being, like, this slime, and the one being a very similar slime with higher agility that can, that can merge, like, yeah, like, like I was expecting. Well... Cool. I don't. Fi I don't mind fighting these guys because Cana boxes drop pretty good. Uh, drop decent money for for what they are. Oh, he, he recovered one MP, you know what? That's fine. That was a truckload of damage, too, so... Ugh, it never ends! Now, this is probably the King Slime group. Yeah, it is. They are legion. I bet you have some MP, though. How about you give me some of that MP, King Slime? Oh, yeah, that's the stuff. Mm-mm-mm. Alright, you can die now. He's like, okay. <laughs> Alright, I guess I'll die now. <laughs> Ooh, level 30 for Yang is... Seven fucking skill points. Well, I wish I had some way to share MP from with from Angelo to other people, because that would make this even better. But as it stands, it's still pretty useful, to, so that Angelo can just get MP back to heal or whatever. 
Oh, all right. Uh oh. Yeah, I've, I've gotten some. I've already leveled up quite a bit, and I think there's probably a better place for medals later in the game. I would imagine, anyway, like for like metal kings or something. Or maybe that's post game. I don't know. Uh, well. In game area, okay, yeah, I, I figured this as much. Like maybe like the the dual makes this like hideout or whatever. Well, I was hoping the angel would use multi shot after everything was dead, but I think at least two of those hit the middle slime, so we might still be able to kill it anyway. Well, like, if it doesn't run away, Angel's probably going to be able to hit at least two of his hits on it. Okay, it's probably dead anyway. I probably should have... <laughs> good job, Jessica. Good, good effort. Oh, come on. Not like this. Oh, no! I should have done Hatchet Man again anyway. We might have just throw. We probably just threw. Yep, we threw. I should have just did Hatchet Man again. Hey, thanks for stopping by, Ventus. It's nice talking with you. You have, a, you have a good day at work. Thanks, Slime. Thanks for the herb. Thanks, cop box for the nail. <laughs> yeah, I just totally threw there. I could have been another level up for someone, probably. Oh, there's plenty more where that came from. Came from. Oh, oh, these must be the King Slime. If it's not, I'd be really surprised. Maybe? Or are they just being annoying? And if so, how did I not flee from these things? <laughs> I don't think they're that fast. Maybe with eight of them, they just have a really high agility score to run away from. That's how, if that's how running away even works in this game. I'm, I would assume so, but. Ugh, oh, Mimic. Oh, gross. That's fine if Jessica's asleep. I want your MP. You've lost the spell privileges. At least I was ho I'm hoping you lost spell privileges. Can't imagine as much MP left. So if we, if we look at a uh, whack here, it costs four. And they ha it did rain five of its MP, so hopefully it got all of its MP and it won't be able to do anything. Or maybe it's got some more. I mean, I'll take some more. Okay, it had. Looks like it. Looks like it had seven. Interesting. Well, that's more MP for Angelo to do uh, multi shot with, I guess. I guess that's the main reason why he has that, so he can just keep using uh, attacks like that. Well, definitely can't cast it now because I took all of its MP. <laughs> I love how goofy the mimics are. Like, they're just eyeballs in a box. I love it. Oh, I can do a full heal on, on, him, on, on Angelo now that he's got enough MP for it. Oh, hello. Little metal, liquid metal friend, you wanna, you wanna, you wanna, you wanna, you wanna stick around a little bit? Nope. All right, bye. <laughs> bye bye. If I can kill a few more, I'll probably leave and go try to do some story stuff. Cause we'll be, 
at like level 30, which is probably good enough for now. Oh jeez, this could be a bad encounter. That one shouldn't be able to use Thwack now, or Whack, or whatever. One of those acts. Wait, that's bullshit. I took your MP. Maybe it doesn't matter. Maybe it just doesn't matter. Well, at least Mavis didn't get put to sleep. Just killed. Pain in the ass. Well, there goes my theory. I was under the impression that with, um, with this, I could prevent them from casting, um, spells. Or maybe it, I don't know, maybe they have more MP than I thought. Probably. That's probably the case. Oh yeah, they definitely have more MP than I thought if they're able to, to cast, um, Cast whack, and then I can still take MP from it. Oh, hey, perfect. All right, you now you get XP. Yay, bonk. <laughs> Iron Nail, Groovy. Well, back to the drawing board. Oh no, they're too fast. Okay, these are the King Slime ones. I'll probably just fight them anyway. Wait, did the one that just got summoned call? It, it, it sure did! They normally can't do it, move on the turn to get summoned like that. I mean, I'm not really gonna complain, we're just gonna kill it anyway, but like... <laughs> and normally enemies that are summoned don't get an action, but these slimes must be programmed very specifically. Which again, cool. I don't mind. It's just kinda like, interesting that they're different. I mean, of course they're different. They're the fucking mascot of this series. Why wouldn't they be different? Alright, give me your MP, dude. Okay. Oh, oh, it didn't die. Now he's dead. They do what they- they kind of- yeah, they kind of do do what they want. They're like, they're like, I'm the mascot of this series. I'll do whatever the hell I please. More skill points. For the boobarangs. And the reason I bought all these herbs is because they're very cheap, and as you see, we're getting like, like almost like three grand from just fighting stuff here, because we fight all these like cana boxes and mimics and shit, and they drop decent money for what they are. Oh, hello, little guy. You wanna give me some of that, uh, XP? Nope, <laughs> the answer is no. That's okay. Whistle costs no MP and we can just try to find another one. Ugh, gross.
Hydre, hey, hello Jedi. Thank you so much for the Hydre. Welcome. Good morning. We are level grinding for the, mo the moment, and these cheeky boxes are gonna probably try to kill some of the spells. I'm trying. Yeah, goofy box tries to put everyone to sleep. In the, in, the, in the sense of, I've killed some of these really hard enemies that are hard to kill. Oh, well, Jessica's not winning. <laughs> she just got, she just got fucking turned into, uh, to a dead. She, oops, yep, she got turned into a dead. We could try bringing her back. But it, it might not be really worth it. Yeah, whatever. We'll try anyway. And she's alive! Again. Come on, Box. Die. There we go. Thanks for dying, Box. Yes, for DQ Treasures for Christmas? Nice. Yeah. I'm probably going to get it myself. I'm going to probably get it for myself for the holiday. But I'm not going to be buying it until I'm done playing this. Because we'll be playing that on stream. 100%. Well, that was, um, entertaining. But as far as winning goes, we have gained, like, almost three to four levels this stream from just grinding on the liquid metal slimes that live here, so... I would say, yeah, we're doing pretty good, all things considered. Alright, Yangus, get us some more friends. That's not a friend. I mean, they look friend-shaped. Or about as, fresh, about as friend-shaped as a box with teeth and a big tongue can be, but, like, you know... You know, the slimes are friend shaped. Thankfully, whack doesn't always work, but it works often enough to be a pain in the ass. All right, let's try again. The liquid metal slimes aren't super common. Oh, um, I was in a battle and Jessica got killed. That's about all you missed. <laughs> really? Oh boy, two of them. Can I run? I can, okay, yeah. I just don't want to deal with them anymore right now. They're, they're tedious, because they have an, an annoying amount of health and they can just insta-kill people. And this might be the King Slime fight. We'll psych up in case it is. And if it's not, then I guess we'll just kill them. It might not be because one of them should have moved by now. Yeah, nope, these are just normal slimes. The, the, the lone brave warrior facing down... Facing us down. You know what? There you go. <laughs> the slime is the f what what? Oh, what a windfall! Oh wow, that's actually pretty rare. <laughs> All right, neat. Thanks. Thanks for your contribution. Ugh. Oh, there's only one. Boom will probably wipe out everything but that. Or come, um, maybe not quite wipe them out, but. Uh, how much MP do you have? Oh, you asshole. Goddess. <laughs> no, that's rude. You don't get. Oh, you asshole. That's the person I don't want to target them with that. Well, whatever. Pain in the ass. Thanks, I still have some MP and Zing to use that can try to bring Angelo back. Because it's like a 50 50 for uh, Zing to actually work. Otherwise, they'll just be dead meat on the floor still. It's kind of funny, but it's also a little annoying when Zing just doesn't work like multiple times in a row. But it's literally a coin flip, so what can you, what can you really do? Hey, Sizzle will work better. 
Oh, Sizzle works way better on these than Boom does. Alright, cool. I guess it makes sense they were a box, a wooden box. <laughs> we have a lot of these iron nails for whatever that's worth. Oh, it's a lone mimic. Surely not gonna regret that. Huh, thank you for the hydrate. I've got some coffee left and after that's gone, I'll probably get up and get me some water in my cup I got here. I don't need any more nails, I promise. Um, easy. Ah, <laughs> uh, mimic. Why do you have to live here? I mean, if we could always move in that kind of order like that, then I don't really mind fighting them. More nails? Yep, more nails. <laughs> I have a really high drop chance of that for some reason. Is it you? Are you? Are you? The, are you the king slime squad? They are. The king will be gracing us with his presence. Well, maybe not. Well, no, all the ones that show up are also going to probably call friends, too. Maybe. Oh, no, that one felt really sprightly. Or maybe some of them are just normal slimes. I don't know. I don't know if, like, we got a, a mixed slime uh, battle. I guess, I guess we'll see, because I'm going to psych up again. And we're going to do an absolutely preposterous amount of damage when we do attack. <laughs> Okay, no, I, I don't, I don't know. There, it's King Slime's here. <clears throat> I'm curious to see if Angelo can just like one shot this King Slime. So we're gonna have everyone but him psych up again, and we're just gonna do a Seraph Zero. Not quite. That was a lot of MP regain, though. Jesus. All right. kind of messing around now. The reason is the Kira Toriyama does Dragon Quest's um, art stuff too. So there's, it's just inevitable that some characters from Dra Dragon Quest are going to look like ones from DBZ because it's literally the same dude. Yep. <laughs> 
Oh wait, it's 50 as high as tension goes? In this game? It might be. Yep, same with Chrono Trigger. He also did the same, uh, he also did the art for that too. I'm curious though, because, um... At least in DQ9, tension can, tension can go to 100. But I think 50 might be the max in this game. It really seems like it. Don't smother me, that's rude! Well, damn, Angel got a lot of his MP back from this one King Slam. Alright, neat. Looks like heals are back on the menu. I'll just use whatever I feel like, I guess, because Angel can just recover all of his MP very easily. For like one King Slime, basically. Oh, look, it's probably another King Slime fight. Alright. I'm down. And if it's not, some of them will just run away. Or all of them will just run away, and then they'll be like, whatever. Yeah, I think this is just normal slimes. From like the very beginning of the game. They just gotta live here. Having a good time in, a, in the tropical paradise. I do want to see how if Angel can just gain a lot of MP from killing one of these things, like this. Okay, they have like probably have like one, literally one MP. <laughs> We're just, just bonking them. I need that one MP, give it to me. Mmm, <laughs> yummy. <laughs> one MP returned. Six whole gold pieces. Mmm. Oh, come on, really? Alright, those are just normal slimes, so we're able to run away. If they're if they're the slimes that make King Slime, we pro they're too fast for us to run away. I guess. Well, let's see if we can run. All right, so those are just normal slimes too. Or maybe not. I don't. I don't even know. I just want to. Ugh, not you. I wasn't looking for you. <laughs> Punk-ass treasure chest. Ah, that sucks. Chomp. Oh, okay. I was like, wait, did everyone attack already? And the answer is no, Yangus is just really slow. <laughs> Oh, jeez, really? Alright, bye. <laughs> I just want, like, one more liquid metal slime. Just one. <laughs> it's been a minute since I've seen one. And I'm just a little, um... A little distressed at that.
Oh, there's another nail. It, it's another nail. Hey, I'm, 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 I'm trying to do some. Yeah, I'm, hopefully this one sticks around, because, yeah, we're, um, I'm down bad for at least one more liquid metal. Because I want to get everyone to level 30 before I do more story stuff. How are, hope you're doing good today. Well, I'll tell you what. I'm, I'm questionable. I'm questionable right now. You know, it's whatever. Do it. I'm doing pretty good. Uh, you know what? Screw it. Just do boom. Oh, it's sticking around. We might get it. Because the Angus has Hatchet Man, at the very least. Oh, alright. I was trying to kill the Mimic on the side. Oh, well, that's fun. It's probably gonna run away now, but, you know, it's it's cool. I'm not, I'm not mad, you're mad. <laughs> Yep, it's gone. Fucking mimic. <laughs> Thankfully, Inga says whistle, so these encounters are really fast to get into. Ugh, no. <laughs> Let's not and say we did. I've been fighting, trying to fight enough king slimes as it is. No, I said I just, I just ran away from you. Leave me alone. <laughs> They're like, but we want to, we want to fight you. No, stop. <laughs> oh, I, yeah, I, a hundred percent. I, I am, I am not unfamiliar with liquid metal slimes, for better or for worse. The gang's all here, all, all the slimes, all the times. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, they don't notice me? Cool. Leave me alone. <laughs> I can probably just run from you, too. But we'll just kill them, because that's at least some gold. Yeah, I mean, that, we are, in fact, getting slimes. And boxes, and iron nails, because these, these cannon boxes are just full of nails. They're not up. They're not really up to any sort of safety code. The only reason I'm fighting these boxes is they actually give these pretty decent gold for how hard they are. I was trying to do gold grinding at some point outside of Neos with the uh, gold golems, but there. That is not a fun place to try to grind at. Make your own metal slimes, right? Exactly. Just if you, if you can't if you can't find if you don't have metal if you don't have metal slimes at home, store bought is fine. <laughs> oh, come on, you're not the right kind of slimes. Ah, mimic. Not fun. But I don't know if I can run away. You know what? Let's try it. Okay, we can run away from the mimic. I guess they're not very fast. A slime and a nail and an ant. Akuma, I can't say I have. I don't know if there's a. I don't know if slime drops are in this game. I know they're in DQ9. I am a big fan of DQ9. I might have to replay that at some point. I might try to like a solo file or something. I remember when last time I played on stream, I did like a full party kind of deal. 
and had one poor little mage that just kept getting her, get, just kidding, getting targeted by literally everything, despite being in the ba the back of the party. She she was just a magnet for just enemies, just whatever they were trying. Go oh, stop! Oh no, they're too fast. Are these just normal slimes, or are these the king slimes? Like, they might just be the normal slimes. I don't know why they're that fast, if they're just... These little shit... Oh yeah, they're the normal slimes. Jesus Christ. No! <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Leave me alone! See, they're, now they're running from me. Come on, I'm trying to... I tried to run from you first. <laughs> oh, I guess Jessica got some MP back. Are you kidding me? <laughs> what the f you know what? Now, now it's personal. You're the only one that's it's personal. Fuck you. <laughs> right? That's really. <laughs> that's so stupid. I love it. Like, I couldn't run away from them because I guess they're too fast, and then they ran away anyway. That's... That's silly. No, uh, these are... There's, these are still silly, but a little less so. You don't run, I run. I'm the one who runs. Like, oh hey, let, let me teach you how to run! Nom, 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 nom. Oh boy, let's see if I can run from these. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I just want one more metal slime. Is that too much to ask? Probably. Oh no! Rude. That's my line. You know what? Let's see how you like whack, you fucking jerk. Oh, fine. I guess it just doesn't want to work for me, huh? I mean, that's part of the reason why I'm trying to have uh, Angelo use Seraph Zero. Like, any time I see a Mimic, it's because, well... He has Zing, and sometimes the Mimics actually kill people. Which is annoying, but, you know... Whatever. Oh, would you look at that? It's... it's oh, great! That's my favorite. I love it when... The Mimic gets a surprise attack. That's my favorite. Mmm. <laughs> Alright. Well... I mean, you know what, I'm tempted just to try it again now, because it just seems re really funny if I kill the Mimic with a whack. It's probably, it's probably a me into it, go figure. I start get some my MP back. One MP. <laughs> Great. Um. <clears throat> now let's just go back to using herbs. They're very cheap, and so am I. <clears throat> I, I wonder if I wonder if the slimes make the. Oh, okay, this is a king slime fight at least. Oh, jeez. All right. Hello. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, they just, just just decided to not like summon their uh, their big to do their thing. So we'll just psych up, I guess, until they do. There they go. Got him. No slime crown. Alright, that's fine. Oh. <laughs> okay. We didn't have a repeat of our of last time. That's a lot of cannon boxes. Gotta say, it's probably the, the largest amount of them I've seen yet. want one more. One more liquid metal slime. Just one. <laughs> oh god. Oh. I mean, I'm getting some decent money out of this at least, but... <clears throat> Honestly, that that that, fi that fight with the slimes that kept kept stopped me from running, and then they ran away. Just was still, just really funny, actually. Ah, <laughs> oh, come. They really, they're they're seriously must be like none of them out and about at nighttime. It it really just feels like that. And there's just none no no liquid metals at night. I don't really know what to do about that either. I could run around for a while, I guess. Chomp. Chomp. <laughs> and you know what? We'll just scamper around for a little bit to see if we can get the time to change. Because... I've been just standing in the same spot just using Whistle for like, probably like 30 minutes or so. Bro, actually no, it's like an hour and a half in the stream now, probably longer than that. Pot's done! Yay, medicine! I love medicine! God, I hate that this alchemy pot's like one item at a time and it takes actual real time to do anything with. That's so not fun. Oh boy. Is it gonna be another one of these? Nope, we got away. Well, there's a chest here like right next to where I docked on and I just didn't see it. It's probably just gonna be a, a mimic anyway, but. Oh, no, it's actually a real piece, a real chest. <laughs> Man, <laughs> right?
rude? You take my MP and then bite me? What are you, a cat? <laughs> Probably. It's like you feed it and then it's like happy and it eats food and then it bites you. <laughs> rude ass. Wonder if there are any living on the beach, or maybe I'll find some like sort of like weird sea creatures on the beach here. I mean that'd be my guess, but no, apparently we're not on the beach. We're on we're on the land. <laughs> now my immersion is broken. Trying to get it to not be fucking nighttime anymore, so that maybe we'll get actually see some metal slimes again. Because they seem very uncommon at night, which makes me sad. Because that's the only reason I'm really here. Oh God, go away! Oh no, not not like not this! <laughs> oh God, not again! <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding me? They're like, you shall not pass! <laughs> and then they're like, oh, gotta go. <laughs> Fuck's sakes. They've got the numbers advantage. I, I mean, I, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What a silly situation. Oh, there's another another sheep. Oh, we found one. Oh, it doesn't notice the party's presence either. That's un that's unlikely. Please hit. Oh, we can leave. Oh, thank fucking Christ. I just wanted to kill like one more. Because hopefully that would get Angelo and just go to both level 30. Multi heal. Okay, that's that was worth the time. That's a good spell. He becomes a miracle archer. Attack power increased by 25. That's pretty good. Ah, oh, Jessica. You know what, you'll, you'll just hit, you'll hit level 30 eventually. I'm not sticking around here. And you know what, maybe you'll stick around a little longer. Just a little longer. Cause I mean, that went really well. She might not be that far away from a level up anyway, so we're just gonna fight stuff. And if we find another, uh. If we find another, uh, what you call them? Another metal slime, we'll, we'll deal with them. Give me your MP. Oh, all one of it, I guess. It's weird though, considering the fact that Jessica joined our party way before Angelo did, that he levels up faster. That's just kind of weird. You know what? Just whistle. Single bit! <laughs> Perfect! <laughs> Chomp! Yeah. 
Oh, Jessica's taking a little bit of a nap. Standing up. Honestly, that takes a bit. That takes talent. Well, thank you for the single bit, Neki. <laughs> God damn it. Alright. I was expecting another one of those battles. Oh, come on. Really? In the ass. We'll bring her back to life after the fight. Well, Angel's got plenty of MP now, because I've been just. Oh, let's see how many zings fail. Oh, that's two in a row. That's three. Okay, that's four zings in a row. That five. Jesus Christ. It's a 50-50, so five missing in a row is really unlikely. But not impossible. Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck you, Mimic. Give me that. I need more MP. I just had to use a lot of it. I'm so lucky, right? Unbelievably lucky to have five failed zings in a row. <laughs> uh, are you kidding me? <laughs> Bloody hell is right. Fuck's sakes, really? <laughs> I wonder probably wouldn't happen if I would had Jessica do literally anything else other than just bonk with stick. Whatever. I guess we get to see how many zings fail this time. Oh boy, an iron nail. Thank you. One. Okay, only one that time. Oh, hello. It suddenly attacks. Okay, it actually did attack. It didn't like preemptively run away. That would be funny, but really depressing if it did that. Okay, it basically did anyway. Jerk ass. <laughs> Jerk ass slam. Oh boy, my favorite. Oh, all right. Good job, Jessica. Good, good, good effort. <clears throat> well, that was fast. Let's try another one, I guess. Oh, it's you. Oh, it's you. Oh, it's you again! Oh no! <laughs> God damn it. Why? Why do you think this is necessary, game? 
They keep me from running and then one runs away immediately. <laughs> oh, two, I'm sorry. You know what, screw this. It'll take literally take less time to just kill them than it would be to like try running away. They'll probably stop me from running again. <laughs> That works. Was not expecting. Uh, oh boy, a pilot. My fi that's a rare drop. No, I'm, I'm not kidding. That is <laughs> a rare drop is a fucking pilot. Which, as you can guess, is not a, an extremely um, interesting item. make me want to play <laughs> all right you know what I think we're done here I'm kind of I'm kind of sick of dealing with all these mimics and shit oh god oh god I definitely should have uh, listened to my own advice about like what I was literally saying Oh, I don't have any amp more MP. Great, cool. I love that. <clears throat> I'm honestly surprised that Jessica even has any MP left because she's. We've been just here for a while. Take that thing. I think we're supposed to be going to, the, to Argonia next. Because we have to, like, go to, like, into the castle and probably... I think we have to, we have to help a, uh... The Prince of Argonia get a, like, dr like dragon heart or something like that. To, like, prove that he's, like, fit to rule or some shit. Y you know, you know. Weird, antiquated, um, royalty things. Well, we made a lot of money because all the freaking cannon boxes we fought. Because the th those cannon boxes gave like 110 GP a kill, which is a lot more than most other enemies. So it wasn't a totally wait total waste of time. We also got like three or four level ups, so I feel like that was good too. I think we're supposed to go here now. Okay, yeah, they're, 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 they might let us actually in the castle now. Let's actually save this. I think this is the chapel, right? No, this isn't the chapel. This is fucking, like, entertainment venue. Or you have, like, your birthday parties or whatever. 
That looks like a church. I mean, it's got a bell. It's got to be a church, right? Yeah, we gained at least like two, if not three levels. So now let's actually play the game, other than grinding. Do you know the King Clavius had an elder brother called Eltrio? Well, apparently he gave up his title and everything and left Argonia. I don't know why though. Apparently Prince Charles is scared of lizards, so he's trying to avoid doing the initiation. What a sorry state of affairs. Oh, with the cow cowardly prince and the chancellor's good-for-nothing son, Lorenzo, this country's really got going to the dogs. I mean, Lorenzo is a bit of a fucker, but, you know. Maybe, maybe Charles can't help being scared of lizards. You ever think about that? What do you sell? I don't know if I've ever actually looked at this, this store. Nothing of really importance. We can buy more herbs, so I don't really think I need to right now. I think 80 is a, a good amount. Okay. When we were last here, they they wouldn't let us in because they were trying to find Prince Charles. But now that we, but now that the story knows that we've been to uh, Baccarat and the casino's fucked. He can't possibly have ran away to the casino because it's not open, so he's just kind of here, I guess. Hmm. Interesting fountain? Yep. What's up, kiddo? I'm supposed to be a maid, but until the other day, all I was doing was looking for Prince Charles. I thought it was a bit of a waste of time looking for him when he was probably long gone, but he was actually inside the castle all along. Nerd girl! Hmm? A magic mirror? No, I've, ne I've never heard of anything like that. If you want to know about magic, you should ask one of the royal magicians. They'll probably know what, what it is you're talking about. Okay, those aren't the kind of jars. That's the kind of jars we can destroy. Oh, look. Camera. 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 I'm looking to do some property damage and or pinch some goodies from your, um, your cabinets. Which door do we use? Let's do this one first. Never mind, we'll, we'll, we'll go back to that one. Let's see this one, because this one seems like it's its own room. Guest room? With things. Gimme. Gimme. Nice. There were a lot of messengers coming from Trodane before the royal engagement was announced. But there likely there haven't been any at all. I don't know why they've stopped coming, but I have a bad feeling about this. Well, Trudy means they're far away across the ocean. It's not easy to make contact with them over there all that quickly. Is this this door? It is. Okay, we can go in here now. Alright. I don't think you can hide from me, Barrel. <laughs> oh, since I threw a barrel, yeah, I should probably talk to you, huh? Can you believe that they finally found Prince Charles hidden in a barrel of all things? <laughs> he must have been braver than we thought to endure so many days stuck in a tiny space like that. Yeah. It's almost as if he's not like a coward, he just doesn't like lizards. <laughs> or dragons, maybe, because it's probably a fucking dragon instead of just. Oh, it's just a lizard! Fuck you! <laughs> I only just heard of this, but apparently there's some kind of an agreement between Trodane and Argonia. They say if a boy and a girl are born in each kingdom, they'll have to marry. The agreement was made a long time ago, so Princess Charles and Princess Medea are fulfilling a vow their grandparents made. I wonder what it's like to be engaged from the minute you're born. Do you think they're happy about it? 
I mean, it's kind of uncool to do that to people, I would say. Like, the lack of agency there in their lives from being basically betrothed to each other from birth is a little fucked, to say the least. Oh. Who's the portrait? No? Alright, never mind. I didn't want to know anyway. King Clavius' throne room is just inside. Make sure you are on your best behavior and don't do anything to disturb his highness. Alright, cool. We'll go back there after I see if there's anything else I can steal. Because petty crime is something I love doing in Dragon Quest. Just running around taking as much things as I can find. Both King Clavius and his older brother Eltrio com completed the initiation with no fear whatsoever. But Prince Charles is such a coward, whining on about how lizards are so scary and frightening. Fuck you. Maybe he just doesn't like lizards. Ooh, property damage. Anyone else in here to take my my wrath? No? Alright. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> Then they know you can stand on the, the, the little benches like this. This is the chamber of the late queen. Ever since his wife died, Queen Clavicus has been easier than ever on Prince Charles. Oh, why is she late? Oh, another mini medal. Okay. If she was on time, maybe, <laughs> maybe her son wouldn't be scared of lizards. Or maybe he's scared of lizards because a lizard killed her! <laughs> <laughs> Just jump into conclusions immediately. <clears throat> now, you know this place is pretty posh because they have like a second floor kitchen. That's unheard of in like today times, probably let alone medieval times, so. Ooh, seed of strength, okay. This leaks like looks like it leads outside. They've got their own little fucking waterfall on everything. That's pretty sweet. The view of the town from the top of the castle is amazing, isn't it? And it gets even better when the bazaar is on. You never seen so much hustle and bustle. Oops, I'll be in trouble. I was supposed to be making sure Prince Charles doesn't leave his room. <clears throat> Right, look at all that hustle and bustle. No NPCs loaded in. <laughs> Anywhere. <laughs> much hustle, much bustle. <clears throat> Is this Prim's Charles? What a unit. Alright, you got any cool books? Big Boy Wonderland? <laughs> Think you're a big boy? There's a secret club out there and it may just be what you're looking for. We can't reveal the exact location here. Believe it, it's all worth the trip. If you happen to find it, make sure to ask for Puffy. She's dynamite. With a short fuse. Row! Oh no, that's... They're talking about Puff Puff. Just lie back and let her work her magic. Believe us, you'll never find a pair like hers before. Yep, that, they're talking about Puff Puff. Wonderful. Prince Charles, you're a slut. <laughs> I didn't believe you, you remember Casta. How dare you enter the room of a royal prince without permission? Do you realize, realize who I am? Honestly, what a nerve. I could call the guards on an incident, you know? If you don't want to be manhandled by them, that's just you. Oh, fuck you. I was trying to be nice to you without the lizard saying, you're an asshole. Fuck you. I can't help but worry that he might try and run off again, but if you try to watch over him all the time, he moans and bawls like you wouldn't believe. This job will be the death of me. Oh, well, I guess we're going down here. Wherever here is. Ooh, a library. Alright, I'm, I'm, I'm suddenly okay with this. 
Prince Charles' observation log. March 23, the prince was captured this morning. He had escaped from his room by fashioning a rope out of his curtains. He was undoubtedly planning to head to the casino at Baccarat. The prince remains unrepentant. The prince was captured this afternoon. He hid himself inside a barrel, apparently with the intention of sneaking out of the city. He even prepared a special barrel with holes in the bottom, allowing him to move with it when nobody was looking. The prince can be surprisingly resourceful when he wants to be. I'm sure he can. Hello, other nerd girl. Lots of people have been coming to the castle to get permits for this year's bazaar. Looks like there's going to be more stalls than ever. I can hardly wait to see the town square buzzing with contented choppers. Uh-huh. Alright. Books! More books! True tales of the truly terrifying. The following is an absolutely true tale. I heard it from my friend's sister the other day. <laughs> About a month ago, she went mushroom hunting in a forest to the east. On her way back, she noticed that something was wrong. Birds were falling from the trees. Rabbits and fawns writhed on the ground in agony. All of them were foaming at the mouth. The forest is usually a place of peace, but on this day it was more like a hell on earth. What fiendish power is behind this devilry? That's when she noticed the song, an eerie and grotesque voice, like nothing she had ever heard before. It was issuing from holes in the ground. Moments later, her sight darkened as she swooned. When she came to, she was back in her own bed. A hunter had found her unconscious body and brought her back to the village. To this very day, she shudders and recalled the scene. She can't get the words over. <laughs> dig, dug, dig, dig, dug. <laughs> oh, mole people. Agility and you. Many items for increasing agility utilize the agility ring as a fundamental ingredient. Take Mercury's bandana, for example. It is made by combining something that protects your head with an agility ring. Probably a bandana and an agility ring would be my guess. Okay, no cool books. Alright. I think we can get agility rings if we go to the uh, Pickham Casino and just like buy tokens or just like play casino or whatever. Oh, okay, this must be the throne room. Yeah, it is. How can, we, how can we promise the prince he'll be safe during the initiation while sending soldiers along to protect him? It's no good. I just can't see how it's possible. Ah, oh, here we go. Your Majesty, are you feeling poorly? Did those travelers cause you some trouble? No, no, I'm fine. One of them reminded me of someone, but I must be mistaken. What's up, King? The magic mirror? But it's a precious royal heirloom. Why on earth do you require it? Explain yourself. <clears throat> I understand. However, as I have said, the magic mirror is a treasure of the royal family. I cannot simply give it to you. I knew it, say no. C'est la vie, I suppose. It was a lot to ask. So now what? How are we going to avenge my brother's death without that mirror? If what you say is true, you must have survived a great many ordeals on your He's going to ask us to help his that means his child your fighting skills must be on a par with those of my soldiers. But your majesty, you can't possibly plan to use those travelers instead of royal guardsmen. Well surmised, chancellor. Listen to me carefully. I rule with a fair hand, but I cannot grant every request that is made of me. However, if the royal family owes someone a debt of gratitude, I consider it my duty to fulfill it. You need the magic mirror. Then accept my request. If you complete the task I set forth for you, you may have the mirror. Summon the prince! At once, your majesty. 
The request concerns my son, Prince Charmels. Charmels. To become king of Argonia, one must undertake a special initiation ceremony. There is some risk to life and limb, and the prince is unwilling to do it. As a father, the thought of putting my own son in danger pains me. But he must pass the initiation if he is to succeed me to the throne. It is the tradition of our kingdom. I was considering sending a detail of royal soldiers to protect him during the rite. However, I fear it will ruin his reputation. So my request is this. You outsiders will accompany my son to the royal hunting ground. Naturally, this would remain completely confidential. It is vital that everyone believes my son passed the initiation on his own. Y Your Majesty, Prince Charmels is... Oh, did he fucking run what away? What is it this time? The prince has run off again. I'm extremely sorry, Your Majesty. This is all my fault. I'll bring Prince Charmels to Your Majesty as soon as we can find him. As your humble and faithful servant, I beg... You incompetent fool! Please pardon my outburst. But we cannot continue this discussion without my son. I was holding onto the prince's hand tightly so he wouldn't run away, but he somehow slipped on my grasp and rushed off. Ugh. Fine, let's go find this fucker. Ugh. <laughs> let's go find this punk ass. No idea where he's gonna be, but... Ooh, stuff. Nice. <laughs> I, I, I would be real, I would be, that would be really funny. Like, I pick up a barrel to smash and he's just in there. <laughs> or if he's like in one of these cupboards like this, that would also be really funny. That, that would be just peak comedy of... Ooh, what's this? A locked door. It's also colored differently, so... It's pro he might be outside, maybe? Oh, what is this? Just a little balcony? Huh. Alright. Neat. So many damn rooms to this castle. Ooh, elephant elixir, that's pretty rare. Oh, I guess let's go up this way. This is like the tip top of the castle now. I don't think I even went up. I don't think I even went up this high. No, I didn't, because the waterfall has a cave there. Sounds like there's been a commotion going on downstairs. What happened? Of course, that had to be the prince. I don't know why I bothered asking, really. Well, it was nonsense. It'd be hard to keep on serving him. 
safe sta uh, totally safe stairs. Not a railing in sight. <laughs> I would be like clinging to the fucking wall every time going up and down this. Like ev like without fail every damn time. I'll tell you what. I don't blame the prince for feeling what he does. It's a bit unfair to expect him to fight lizards when he hates them so much. Initiation or not. I saw a huge one on that, in that storeroom the other day, actually. I tried to catch it, but it got away. There are lizards living in the ceiling of the room below this one. Every now and then, they drop below into the floor below. All the places Prim's charms to hide, he can't stand the sight of lizards. Well, he might be nearby then, because, well... Okay, these are not the same kind of things as that book, other bookshelves. These bookshelves are ones we can read. A female royal official. Of course, I never go anywhere without wearing my scholar specs. They're simply perfect for an uncommonly quick-witted girl like me. But my hat, oh it's a disaster, so hideously uncultured. If only I had the intelligence that reflected my superior intellect as well as my spectacles do. Put on the scholar specs to, to, with a hat to make the perfect piece of headwear, but I simply couldn't bear to sacrifice them. It isn't easy being a beautiful genius. Clever chap cap. A hat and scholar specs. Cool, great. No book in there. Ooh, property damage. And a- ooh, a hole in the wall, you say. Go, Munchie! Munchie time! Munchie! It's Munchie o'clock! I almost forgot about Munchie. I don't know how, but I almost did. Well, there's a there's a lizard. I'm guessing we have to scare it into going in, in the hole or something. Cause he's he, cause he'll probably fall down and scare the shit out of Prince Charles. Ah! <laughs> right on his head. Uh. Is there something on my head? Don't throw the lizard like that. That's rude. Ick, ick, a lizard. What's he doing here? Get it out. Get it out. Yeah, Munchie. Oh, well, the, the room's empty now, Munchie. You did it. Good job scaring that asswipe. Mm-mm. All right. Back we go. Munchie roll! <laughs> Good job, Munchie. So my property damage actually led to something useful. I found the needle in the haystack, basically. Do you wish the prince would know when to stop the tomfoolery and get on with the initiation like he's supposed to? Hopefully I've learned by now that trying to run away or hide just won't work. Hopefully. And prince Charles... Ran out of that room, he was really in quite the most hysterical panic. He really must hate lizards. Poor Prince Charles was seized by the soldiers the second he ran out of that room. Do you know what he said? That if only it wasn't for that lizard, he could have stood at least three another three days in there. Good thing we found the lizard and 
in the hole. Let's put the lizard in. Alright, I've already been. Have I already done a swath of destruction through this part of the castle? I might have. <laughs> Hard to tell, this castle is just big. Oh, the doors are locked because the prince is trying to escape. Okay. Huh. Yeah, I, I'm I'm horribly lost in this castle. <laughs> okay, that's where the prince was. I think we have to go back this. Oh, maybe we this way. He literally looked defeated this time. Okay, okay, I think I know where I am now. Not, not that way. Uh, I think I was on the right floor, I just need to go the right way. Which I think is this way, to the throne room. Yep. Found it! Alright. Finally. Jesus Christ. What a mess. Ah, perfect timing. Allow me to introduce my son. This is Prince Charles, the future king of Argonia. What is all this, father? Why are you wasting my time with this whiff-waff? They're going to protect you during the initiation. They will need to know who you are. Initiation? Who said anything about the initiation? I don't recall agreeing to that. I hate lizards. How many times do I have to tell you? Listen carefully, Charles. Enough is enough. I am aware of your aversion to the initiation, but it remains your duty to complete it. You won't be able to marry Princess Medea until you prove your worth. Well, I don't care about getting married anyway. You're making a mistake, Charmels. I hear Princess Medea is... well... Va! Great. Va! Boom! Jesus you Christ. You understand what I'm saying? Wow! Well, I guess that's all you had to fucking say. Now, have you reconsidered? You can leave me out of this, thank you. Right. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, um, anyway, my son, <clears throat> do you realize what people say about you behind your back? This is your chance to prove yourself. To show the world you are a man. Yay, toxic masculinity. Who fucking cares? These people can assure your safety. Well, Charmels. Do you accept? Uh, yes? Wait, no. I mean, oh, I don't know. I heard a yes. That's my prince. I'll ensure that everyone believes you're doing it on your own. You will leave now. Hide yourself in the wagon at the city gates and await your bodyguards. Right now? <laughs> You just you sh just shambled into the work into work, and your boss is like, "Go to fuck to bed." <laughs> well, welcome back, Ventus. We just finished doing a scavenger hunt for this little snot-nosed brat. Chancellor, accompany Charmels to the gate. The prince <laughs> is leaving for his initiation. Summon the royal guards. The prince must have a fittingly ostentatious send-off. <clears throat> Remember. He is leaving on his own. Uh, it shall be as you wish, your majesty. But wait! I'm not ready yet! Off at last. I wish you luck, 
And remember, your mission is top secret. Charmels will explain the details of the initiation himself. Fulfill my request, and you have my word that the magic mirror shall be yours. All right, then. Yeah, that that's true. Uh, I think I got like three or four. I just got, I kept just not finding freaking liquid metals and just a bunch of of mimics, and it was really annoying. So I kind of just left after a while. I think Jessica's still level twenty nine, but everyone else is like level thirty now. I think we leave now, right? Oh, yep, he's in our wagon. That stinky wagon is far too small for me. Maybe I could stretch my legs if you got rid of that worthless pot. Good grief! What's that? What kind of people are you traveling with a freak like that? Here, yeah, Grandad. You'd have bitten my head off if I said something like that. I'm a king, you half witted twerp. <laughs> Come a little closer. Look at us. Don't you see? We can't tell him his fiance has turned into a horse. <laughs> Much better to keep the truth a secret for now. Make sure everyone knows to keep it under their hats. <laughs> right. A Prince Charmless! What is Charmless. your destination? Prince Charmless. It's Charmley, you clot. Just head east. Eventually we'll come to the royal hunting ground. That's where the initiations take place. Oh, and before I forget... Lizard here, ooh. That doesn't sound pleasant. This vial contains a powder that masks human scent. You must sprinkle it on your. This is my this is my first time playing this game actually. So like, yeah. Argon lizards are very sensitive to smell. If they get wind of our unmasked scent, they'll run away. In other words, we've got to smell like lizards to fight lizards. I'm supposed to be doing this by myself, so I shall be staying in the wagon until we arrive. I'll alight upon arrival, and we shall then proceed on foot. Now get a move on, you lazy wascals! You lazy wascals. He just he does not do good with ours. So it's to the east. Not so machos. It's been a minute since we've been in this like area, so these things shouldn't be too da too dangerous. We've gained a good bit of power. Considering Angela has like 200 HP now, which is a little silly. Okay, I appreciate that. I usually appreciate not getting spoiled on stuff because, well, yeah, that kind of kills my motivation to kind of do stuff a lot of the times. If, like, something I'm looking forward to doing gets, like, spoiled, it kind of sucks to not only be that way, but also just when it happens, you know? <laughs> Gargoyles. Ooh, well... Oh, that would be good. That'd be nice to have. Just really, just really thick, corn-fed Angelo.
sweet. All right. I'm suspecting we gotta take a ride at this next fork. Probably where the sign is. Still fighting stuff because I want Jessica to level up at some point. Uh, strong medicine. Okay, cool. Royal hunting ground. Yep. Onward. Oh, is he at full MP? I guess that would make sense, right? <laughs> what a Nimrod! <laughs> it's like in Pokemon, something using takedown and like offing itself. That's that's amazing. Get dunked on, idiot! <laughs> All right. Head lies the Royal Hunting Ground. I think Liquid Metal Slimes also live in the Royal Hunting Ground as well. I want to say. She get a humidifier warm. Ask for less than an hour. My lungs are coughing up a lot of phlegm. Mmm, gotcha. Uh, that sounds like it would help. Ugh, stinky birds. Bulldozers. Oh. Bird up, bird up, bird up. I'm about to be bird down after I blast these things straight to hell. Bird down. Bird down, bird down. Freaking gargoyle thing dodged a freaking spell.
boy for isn't Prince Charmless? I mean Prince Charmles. <laughs> I suppose uh. you must be here for the initiation then. Indeed I am, you uneducated bumpkin. Dickhead. Oh. <laughs> and who's this with you, eh? Last I heard, you royals had to go in alone. They merely accompanied me here. They shall be uh, accompanying me on the way home as well. I've instructed them to await my return just inside Poor the world. Oh, blimey. Yep. Extremely British. Oh, right you are. Well, I hope you have a good hunt then. I gotta be... Oh, no, you can't go like that. You won't get no argon art smelling like that, your highness. You want to cover that up, is it? Is this a fast travel point? It might be a fast travel point. There's also property damage! <laughs> Thanks for your hospitality! Bah! <laughs> Fancy you finding your way out here to the back of, back of beyond. If you need to rest, why don't you stop for 40 winks? Oh. Oh, lovely. Cool, blimey. <laughs> the chorus of blimeys. Well, let's destroy this. Ooh, mini metal thing. Mini metal, mini metal, mini metal. Let's try saying mini metal five times fast without like having an aneurysm. <laughs> I tried, but I, I came pretty close to just ha my brain like disconnecting from my brain stem. <laughs> it's been the duty of our family for generations to be sure the Argon lizards and royal hunting don't go dying out. Or if family Argonia would be in a terrible pickle if you don't have no lizards. You won't be able to do that initiation of theirs. I'm sure that's, you know, Im more important. Yay, property damage! My favorite. I'm also just curious if it'll let us zoom. No, it won't let us zoom. That's fine. Alright, I'll be here for, well, another hour and a half it looks like. Oh, do I have to actually use the lizard humor? I figured it'd just be like some sort of like quest item. Fine. The scent of lizard fills the air. Mmm. Tasty. Oh, is that a lizard now? It looks that looks like a lizard to me. Okay, I have to walk behind them. Oh, enemies! Oh, Haxaurus! Nice, I haven't actually seen these, these uh, big T-Rex axe monsters in an actual not G Game Boy game before. Because these uh, Haxaurus enemies are in uh, Dragon Quest Monsters. That's like Battle Rex or whatever. Oh, phooey, fine. We'll just, uh, do that, I guess. Rude.
Alright, that's not too bad. I mean, the XP, the XP here seems pretty good. All things considered. Oh, look at you doing one damage. Oh, I was trying to really go swing for the fences there. Oh my god. <laughs> Motherfucker ran away. Oh, fine, we'll kill it. I didn't do as much as I was thinking it was going to. Blizzard is friend shaped. <laughs> All right, well, we killed a lizard. Hey, we got the Argon Heart. That seemed a little too easy. So, this is an Argon Heart, but it's so small. Looks like the Argon Lizards aren't anything to worry about after all. We'll have to keep hunting lizards until we find one big enough to do justice to my heroism. Oh, fuck's sakes. I knew it wasn't going to be easy. This guy who runs at the slightest hint of danger. Don't make me laugh. Oh, fuck's sakes. I'm guessing there's this big ass sleeping one over here that we gotta fight instead. Look, there's one Argon Lizard that's sound asleep, too. Now oh, then, Ningus, you suppose you could lure it out somehow? I doubt Whistle's gonna work. No, nope. uh, that just brings enemies. Oh, it's a Chimera. Yeah, it's not great. The guy's a the guy's a little bit of a bit of a sh an ass wipe begin with. Now he's like, oh, I've got to get the biggest heart to show how awesome I am. It's like, you're not awesome at all. You're, you're a jerk ass. I just killed a dinosaur. <laughs> Those Argonauts are quite pretty, actually. Maybe I'll get one for two for myself. Well, well, now there's a surprise. I never imagined you had an interest in fine jewels. I couldn't care less about jewels. I think this might come in handy with the ladies. 
So, why do you hate losing so much, Your Highness? Hmm, that's a good question. It all started on my fifth birthday. I'd just been tucked into bed and was getting snuggly when I felt something strange under the covers. I pulled back my blanket and I found dozens and dozens of lizards wriggling around. It made my blood run cold just thinking about it. Your fifth birthday, so were they a present from someone? Don't be so utterly ridiculous. Alright, well. Yeah, 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 okay. Oh, it must be these pumpkins or whatever over here that the lizard would want. Let's collect let's collect the pumpkin, I guess. Are the pumpkins monsters? Oh. I say, Yangus, show me what you've got there. Lizard fruit. A salamango. <laughs> okay, that's a good name. The Chancellor said that Argon lizards absolutely adore these. A sleeping lizard would wake up at the slightest whiff of one, huh? I suppose that's proof enough. So now I gotta carry it over there and throw it. Probably near it. So property damage comes in handy. Get this fucking lizard. <laughs> Bye. All right, its defense is probably at zero now. Yeah, its defense is at zero. has been defeated. Is this one bigger? Finally! Jeez, okay. She becomes a staff sorceress. MP increases by a hundred! Holy shit! Alright. She becomes a charming lady. Learns Puff Puff. Great. So now we're just hunting these no, for sport. This is no good either. We need to find a bigger one. Jesus. The only way I'll get the respect I deserve is by returning with the biggest Argon heart the world has ever seen. So, we're going to keep going until we find one big enough to take back. Do I make myself clear? Can I just give you a fucking wedgie and get it over with? <laughs> you, sh you sniveling fuck. Not there. What? Why? Why did you think that was necessary? <laughs> I can immediately use mid heal on its friend that is not hurt whatsoever. You know what? Cool. Come <laughs> on. 
Got him. Orc King drops a treasure. A long spear. Neat. Treasure here, I guess. Killer moths. Keeps us from getting bothered. Oh, we try to find this lizard. So that's the way out, so it's not gonna be that way. This way. I think this might be a, been a turn I missed. It feels like it's the turn I missed, and there's probably gonna be a really big one around here somewhere. here. Another one because apparently that actually worked. <coughs> Excuse me. Guess we gotta go climb up this area now and probably go across that to like a cave or something. Another one. Oh, come on. Oh, okay, there's some uh, melons. 
I'm guessing these are all the- I'm, I'm guessing these are all their babies. Of, like, the one we're gonna probably fight. It's called a hunch. Oh, they actually did let us drop down. I wasn't expecting that. Wow, that thing's defense really must have been lowered if Jessica's doing 36 with her staff. Yeah, I think, yeah. Another Argonaut that he's gonna just throw away. No, no, no! This won't do! It isn't big enough to impress Father or anyone else for that matter. If only there were some more Argon lizards, then we could fight them all and see if we got a bigger one. But those bothersome lizards keep running away and hiding when they see me coming. I'm just too intimidating for my own good. <laughs> Someone's pleased with himself. How much longer have we got to babysit this sissy? Anyway, I'm hungry now. I'm hungry. Servants, the day's hunt is over. Find level ground and prepare a campsite for my night's repose. Ugh. Hope the lizard eats you. Accustomed to being ridden. Come on now, down from my horse at once, you fat oaf! Shut up! I'll show you how to break in a horse. Stupid animal! Maybe a little pain will teach you. Ah! Calm down! Stop bucking! Stop! I'm going to fall! I hope you break every bone in your body. Whoa, whoa. I'll whip some manners into you! You stubborn beast! You should be honored to have a taste of my crop! I'll teach you some proper respect for your wider! That's my horse! Stop this at once! I simply cannot allow you to harass her any further! If you must strike something, strike me instead! So, the horse is that important to yeah. you? Yeah! Fine! Your wish is granted. Prepare to accept her punishment. Oi, Gav! I think we found a big lizard. I think Yangus found a big lizard. We got one. We got one. Uh, uh, I was picking me now. <laughs> I was picking uh, my nose. I, mean, I was picking me some flowers. <laughs> but I saw it. A blooming giant! One... One of them lizards! Did you hear that? It's the cry of an Argon lizard! Probably because it killed all of its kids. Forget the stupid horse! We've got to catch that lizard! Ugh. 
I don't know if there's gonna be catching lizards so much as it catching us. Yeah, that's. Yeah, that's, um. That one's a little bigger. Look at the size of that unit! Woo! Unfortunately, it's part of some, like, royalty bullshit that we gotta contend with because we need a magical artifact. You know the deal. You know the JRPG deal of magical artifacts doing, getting blackmailed and helping this king's shit-ass son. You know. You know. So. Oh, good job, Dick Nips. <laughs> Hello, birdie. Good morning. Or after... Yeah, it's, yeah, it's still morning. <laughs> Just kind of losing track of time here a little bit. There goes that asshole. He ran away immediately. I shot and I guess catechus on yourself. I, I don't think the I don't think the lizard would appreciate us trying to give it some puff puff. Probably not this lizard at least. It's probably the mom of all the other lizards we killed. <clears throat> Let's try Fuddle. I'm just curious. Oh, well, oh, no, it didn't work. That's okay. HP's still looking fine, so we'll just keep sw we'll just keep swinging. This thing's got a lot of HP. Well, it had a lot of HP. Sorry, sorry, lizard. This, this spoiled brat needs your heart, I guess. Oh, yeah, level up. Yangus is a corn fed boy. Look at him. Becomes an axe lord. Learns axes of evil. Nice. That's a group attack. Level 32. 12 HP, 10 NP, alright. Kassizzle. <laughs> that's a that's definitely a name for something. Oh well, courage, let's go. 
Drops a great big argon heart. This is it. This is exactly what I needed. This will show father and his servants. I can just see their faces now. Oh, Shomley, how wonderful. What a hero you are. They better, after all I went through to get it. Servants, back to the castle. Oh, you went... Oh, I hate this kid. I fucking hate this child. Hopefully you get back and, like, and everyone, like, t told people that he didn't do it himself and... He just gets bullied. I want I want to see him bullied so badly. <laughs> Bully this child. <laughs> Is that what happens? Please tell me that's what happens. since we left on our epic Oh, he just gets away with it. The flags are up. Oh, the bazaar is on. It must have Oh, God, he way. gets away with it. Ugh. I'm going to do a little shopping before I go back to the castle. Dismissed. Oh, uh, we'll see. I guess we'll see. I guess something else gets to happen. Oh, whatever. Let's go to the inn. <laughs> I'm probably a little over-leveled for this. Oh, fine. I guess I don't get to sleep. Ah, Secret Enemy has something tied to that? Ah, okay. Sweet. Alright, where does where where does bloated carcass go? I wanna get on with things. This is my first year selling cooking spices. I think I was worth the ghost when I was right. Nice, good good on ya. I came here to do a bit of shopping with the mistress, but I'm so embarrassed I wish the ground would swallow me up whole. I had no idea she liked to barter so much. She even tried to knock down the price on medicinal herbs, which are already so cheap they're almost free anyway. I nearly died. I'm not happy. Not happy at all. This is a bazaar. The whole idea of a bazaar is you can bargain people down. Sorry, madam, but I have a business still run. Bazaar or no bazaar, I can't afford to lower the price any further. Don't you realize who I am? I'm the Chancellor's wife. If you refuse to reduce the price of this instant, this instant, I'll have your stall shut down. Cunt. <laughs> you don't treat people that way. Oh. Oh my god, can we actually buy good weapons now? Oh, sweet Jesus, alright. Oh, can I get a new boomerang? Oh, fuck you, game. It's like, oh, here, have a hammer. Long after I went just to axes. It's like, whatever. Whatever, game. It's fine. I'm not mad. You're mad. What? Ooh, you sell armor? Looks like you sell some fancy shields. A bustier made out of silk. Heavy armor for Yangus. Magic armor for those two. Hmm. Those shields, however, are super worth. Intriguingly, and in spite of its name, this hat boasts absolutely no special magical properties at all. Alright, well, it looks like it's a good thing we have some money, because. Ugh. That's probably not worth buying, because it's one defense point? No thanks. That, however, is worth buying for both of these people. Although, we can only afford more. we're gonna buy it for Angelo first. I don't know if magic armor is worth buying for either of them, because I think they already have silver mail, which does something similar. Hydrate, thank you. Let's see, a little coffee left, and then I'll, I'll go probably go. I'll probably finish this coffee off, and I'll go get some water. Mmm. And I'll go fill up my cup of water.
And now I will hydrate with water as well. Ah. Okie dokie, let's see. Oh, actually, Silver Armor reduces damage from any spells by even more, so I don't know if I even care about getting that Magic Armor. Yeah, I'm not gonna waste- I'm not- it's like four, five defense points and worse uh, damp spell damage reduction, so yeah, no, we're not gonna worry about it. I do want that, though. Uh, let's see if we can sell anything. I can sell this. Well, that's actually more than I was expecting to get back from it. I can sell that and be close. Let's sell some other stuff first. This long spear was free, so I can just sell that. I got it from one of the uh, orc kings or whatever. And this was in the castle, so I can sell that. All right, I think it was a uh, it was the uh, magic shield, right? Yeah. That'll make Mavis an even tankier. Pot lids from the the frickin' can of boxes. We got this for free from a slime, so we can sell that too. And I, and I think these special medicines are currently at their like high price, so yeah, we can definitely sell those off too. Strong medicine, not special medicine. That's a different item. Let's see, heavy armor? Oh, we can actually afford that now. Just barely. Alright, nice. We got some good we got some good upgrades. I don't think there's any I don't think there's anything else I'm gonna buy from here that I need, quote unquote. I mean that that's alright, I guess. I'm, I'm guessing that would change her outfit too. Which it would not be my primary reason for getting it, but it is a little better defense. Uh 5500. What's she have currently? No, no, that's probably better, because it reduces spell damage by percentage, so. Alright, cool, we're done, we're done buying stuff. At least from there. Already talked to that one. What about you? What are you selling there? Accessories, huh? Oh wow, gold rings give you uh, 10 defense, or 5 or something, it looks like. Hmm. They give some amount of defense, at least. I don't know how much, but... Skuller specs. Uh, ruby and protection, which I already have one of those somewhere, I think. Um, that gives attack, which is interesting. Hmm. Eh, maybe, maybe next time. I was kind of expecting there to be a shop that sells, like, magic water or something. Hello, welcome to, to the Eggdressel Leaf Shop. Um, sure. Oh, really? Alright, cool, whatever. 
Guess I didn't want to. Guess I don't want to buy that. Hello, little little man. Oh, it's a uh, it's a milk shop. Interesting. Must be worried about the prince. So anything else today? Probably not. Nope. You're just the normal shop, Miss Bunny Lady. Or Bunny Outfit Lady, rather. Where is this little bastard at? He said he was running around in the bazaar to buy stuff, but I don't see him anywhere. Unless he's like one of those baskets of apples. He's like, my, my basket of apple cosplay is coming along great. <laughs> I'm guessing he might have went back to the castle to show his dad or whatever. Oh, hello, Barrel. Have I broken you yet? No, apparently not. <laughs> Unfortunately for you, I noticed you in the corner. Watch out for dodgy traders selling stolen goods. They can charge additional prices, so you're better off not dealing with them. Well, it doesn't really, it doesn't really bother me if the, the goods I bought at the armor shop are stolen, because those are good. Where in the hell is he? <laughs> I have not seen him. I would rather not talk to that child ever again, but... Yeah. Did I miss this barrel as well? Maybe. Apparently so. Oh, here he is. What what is going on here? Did he get mugged? Or is he about to get mugged? And you've arrived just in time. Without further ado, allow me to present my new Argon Heart. The biggest you ever saw. I mean, you've seen a real Argon Heart for yourselves. You can tell this is no fake. I suppose you're wondering where I acquired it. Well, as luck would have it, one of the peddlers was selling one. You just got robbed. Service is our motto. <laughs> We got another if you got the money. Another? One is quite enough. Anyway, you can keep the Argon Heart from the Royal Hunting Round for yourselves. I'm going to take this one back to the castle. Uh, you'll stay mm. this, of course. And once the bazaar moves on, I won't need to worry about that peddler telling anyone. It's a flawless plan. <laughs> well, this is farewell. I'm off to the castle. Walk by sometime if you'd like to see the adoration on my subjects' faces firsthand. Ta ta! Blech. Oh, Charles. Yep. What have you done? Who even knows if that's a real one? Didn't think I'd be able to shift that loot for so much. Who says crime doesn't pay? Oh, er, never mind that. Eh? Business, business. Oh, you, oh yeah, you're you're just selling stolen shit. Funny enough, that's probably actually worth the price, but I just don't have the money <laughs> for the prayer ring because prayer rings are good stuff. In old Dragon Quest, they were called wizard rings. 
And they were just as good then as they are still. Well, I guess let's go find out what shitstorm's happening at the castle now that the king saw what Charm Charmless did. Excuse me, I have to go watch a, a, a meltdown happen. <laughs> Charmels, please show us the Argon Heart you obtained. Why, it's enormous! I've never seen such a big Argon Heart before. It must be the biggest in the history of the initiation. He must have slain quite an Argon Lizard to get a heart of that size. Prince Charmels, present the Argon Heart, symbol of your bravery. It's made of glass, isn't it? To King Clavius. No. Wait. Uh oh. He. Kn I mean, he knows. Charmels, do you swear before the Almighty Goddess that you obtained this Argon Heart? from an Argon lizard slain by your own hand? Uh, of course, Father. Because even if, for example, you were assisted by others in battle, I would still recognize your claim to the throne. But if you obtained it by any other means, I could not recognize your right to the throne. Is that perfectly clear? Yes, of course. I fought the lizard with my own hands, and a frightful beast it was, too. He's very... Very well. Then I congratulate mm. you. I accept this Argon Heart as proof of your true character. It being fake. <laughs> like him. <laughs> fake ch fake ass child. I don't want to talk to you again. I was trying to investigate the the thing. Uh Did you see where the king went? No? Alright, well I guess we gotta find the king, cause... Yep. You seen a king anywhere? <laughs> right. Maybe out on a balcony somewhere, like maybe through here, because that's where he was when he was peeping on ceremony or whatever. Nope, that's not the king. I'll look it up if I have to, but I'll still like kind of just search for a little bit, I guess. if I had already checked there or not. Uh, uh, camera, please. Camera, please. Alright, well that's another balcony. 
Uh, let's see. <clears throat> That's the vault. I, I know. I know. looking I'll find him eventually unless he like left the castle in with in despair from watching his child lie when his child didn't need to lie you know I'm gonna see the old wizard in the western forest. He used to work here at the castle and he was the most senior of us all, but now he's retired. That makes me think maybe that's where this guy went. The, the king. Cause they keep name drop they keep name dropping the uh Oh, I already talked to this little kid. Alright. They keep name dropping this wizard. So that's probably where he, he, he might have went there. Did you see the king go anywhere? Oh, good for you. Yeah, it chokes me up too, as in, I'm, I'm, bleh. <laughs> as, I, as in, I'm choking on my own bile. <laughs> Cheek to chop, the clever pig plays sick and saves his bacon. Should it or should not be a comparing royalty to a pig? No, you should. I was <laughs> from the minuses to zero. <laughs> it's a weird place to have a bedroom. But yeah, my best guess is I need to go to the west. Let's actually ask the party. Maybe they got an idea. You say the same thing as Yangus? Huh. Well, maybe the king's out in town somewhere. Oh, well, that guy's gonna pickpocket everyone. Oh, thanks, kid. Gold axe and lunar blessing. Or maybe the uh, king went to go talk to this dude that was up here. Okay, this is the guy's at the shop now. Mm. 
there was no, there he was next to the signpost. It was the strangest thing I've ever seen. A half naked man. Uh. I'm gonna buy some holy waters. Because they prove to be useful if, when getting somewhere where I don't want to fight shit. Hey, totally, totally fine. Thanks, thanks for hanging out and you have a good rest and hopefully you feel better. I'll give one more, like, runabout of... I might go to the throne room and talk to people. Maybe they know where the king might have went. Because none of these people down here fucking know. This guard doesn't seem to care either. Yep. I saw my son take an Argon heart from one of the merchants. Did you even take him to the royal hunting ground? I saw everything from up here. You must tell me the truth. Out with it. I see. So this is the Argon Heart he obtained with your help. Why didn't he simply show it to me? I would not have cared about the size. I fear this means Charmels is far too immature to take the throne. Or a wife. However, that is a matter between Charmels and myself. You did a fine job in taking him to the royal hunting ground. The magic mirror is in the royal vault on the fourth floor. You are free to take it whenever you wish. I have already instructed the guards to admit you. And I will take this Argon heart. It might prove useful when I need to remind Charmels of his foolhardiness. Old bastard. So he gets away with it, at least for now. <laughs> Well, let's go get our mirror and anything else I can steal. Because I will 100% steal everything, given the chance. <laughs> like, ooh, would you look at that? It's locked? Not anymore! Battle fork. Got an axe in here? No, a magical hat, which I would have just wasted money on. And there's the mirror. A lot of Dragon Quest games have magic mirrors in them. Like the first the, the first and the third one had the Lar mirror. Which like shows like the true form of like Ah, you've brought the magic mirror, if I'm not mistaken. May I have a look? Hmm, that's odd. I don't sense any magic at all. Bereft of its magic power, it's no different from a normal everyday mirror. Of course there's a fucking catch. Could someone have snuck in and tampered with the mirror while it slumbered in the royal vault? No, surely not. Nevertheless, even without its magic, the mirror remains a priceless royal treasure. What's that? The magical power of the mirror is central to your errand, you say? I see, I see. Let me think. 
the mirror itself does now, not Now I bet we have to go to that dude that lives in the forest. In which case, you should be able to recharge the mirror, so to speak, Maybe. by exposing it to the right kind of magic. That would restore its former power. The man who taught me was a wizard and an expert in magical treasures. I'm sure he would know how to re-energize the mirror. Unfortunately, he is retired. Now he spends his days in seclusion in his home deep in the western forest. Well, yep, I, can, I know it. I, I know at some point we'd be going to this damn forest. <clears throat> so we're just gonna fly back to the same town. Ulta Hill, that's actually nice. Perfect. Alright, let's use a thingamajig. Uh, holy water, and we're just gonna go uh, explore to the to the west. Oh, wait, there's a treasure chest over here. Nice. Let us see what we have. <clears throat> the Weast, of course. Where else would we be going? Kind of doing a wander now. I mean, it looks like looks like a bit of a, looks like a bit of a forest to me. Maybe, maybe it's not exactly the forest they're talking about. It's probably that way, though. So I remember hearing about a hermit. Um, like, on through this way. Let's see, what's this say? Forest is uh, this way. We need to go here and either to have the old man recharge the mirror or if tell us where we can go to do it. I'm guessing it's gonna be, oh, this is where you can go to do it, or bring me something and then I'll do it, you know, that kind of deal. And I will avoid encounters if possible because that just takes time I don't have because I just want to get this next bit kind of going.
long ass walk. I think we're finally here. Jesus Christ. Hello, little moo cow. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Oh. Well, hello there. People say I'm the most contrary slime around these parts. Did you ever come to Did you come to see the old man who lives here? Haha. <laughs> well, he's not here and I'm not telling you where he is either. See, pretty contrary, wouldn't you say? Don't be a goober. <laughs> What's up, twitchy friend? Me stupid, so I not know what you say. I wouldn't bother talking to him if I were you. He can't speak human, so he always says the same thing. Alright. What do you say to this? <laughs> oh, look at you. You're so flappy. I love you. The old man used to work at the castle. Key. He was really, really important. Key. Yep, I know. That's why I'm here. To talk to him, and I guess to rob him too. Ooh, see the skill. The robbery is worth it. <laughs> the robbery was definitely worth it. <laughs> Let's read books. Nerd time. It's a book entitled Legendary Pirates and Their Treasures. Anyone who spent any amount of time on a ship has heard of the secret cave of the legendary pirate Captain Crow. Nobody knows the exact location. The door is said to be sealed tight, preventing anyone from going inside. But sit in pirate treasure after. You'd do well to find yourself a key that can open any door before sitting out to find the cave. Hmm, good to know. I'm hoping one of these books has like, this is where the old man goes. Or like, blah blah blah. It's a book Entitled Make Your Own Magical Skirt. <laughs> In order to make a magical skirt, you need to find a skirt like garment. A bandit's grass skirt will do nicely. Next, you gotta find something suitably magical to combine it with. Yay! Magical bandit skirt and a, a magic item. And a magic item. All right, little slime, you're gonna be... Huh, that's no fun. Everyone that comes here is here to see him. Do you really, really want to know where he is? I bet you do. I bet you're dying to know. No. Huh. Well, I'm gonna tell you whether you like it or not. I'm contrary, see? He's gone to the mystical spring to the west of here. Well, thanks, asshole. <laughs> He's being a little stinker. Yeah, I figured it might be something like that. So let's hurry up and try to get get over there and get this taken care of. Cause like, I can imagine I can't just zoom back to this old man's house. I I can zoom to the Royal Hunting Ground though if I really needed to. Apparently. That's a small little dude. Ah, uh, hello there. It's been quite some time since I've had any visitors. And what have we here? Oh, such an exquisite beauty. I saw many a beautiful princess back at the castle. But you, my dear, oh, you outshine them all. Indeed, oh, indeed. It's easy to see why your fellow travelers guard you so closely. What? You saying you can see the old princess all proper like? Of course he can! Even as a horse, her inner beauty shines through. That's right, my darling. 
Wait a moment. How can you recognize this horse as my beautiful princess? A horse, you say? Oh, how curious. Please excuse me, princess. Indeed, here is her mane and her tail. Oh, she is a horse. <laughs> Curiouser and curiouser. <laughs> As you can see, my sight failed me long ago. Now, I view the world through my mind's eye instead. And what it sees is a princess, not a beast of burden. Curious travelers, might you tell me what has happened here? They all will. All at once. At the same time. I see. So, a curse has been placed upon her. Now, I may just have a way to return her to her former self. Yes. Yes. Why don't we give it a try? This wasn't part of the deal. I just wanted the mirror. Really? Where? How? Go, oh, blimey! Don't sneak up on me like that! <laughs> what are you flapping about? I've been here the whole time, you twit! I can't say for sure if it will work, but have her drink from the spring. Its enchanted waters have been known to lift curses. Why don't you try it and see? No, I won't drink. Slorp. Slorp. Oh, at the very least, she's gonna be a sparkly horse. Oh, I guess it worked. Nice. Father? Father, look. I've returned to normal. Well, now how are we gonna carry the cart? <laughs> Is he gonna carry it? What's wrong, Father? Why aren't you saying anything? Am I just dreaming? Or is this some new trickery? No. No, my dear. I'm sorry. It's just that you take my breath away. Come here and let me look at you. Oh, Father. Medea. My darling Medea. I'm so sorry for making you pull the carriage. It must have been so hard for you. I promise, I'll make it up to you. Oh no, Father. You mustn't worry. This isn't just about me. I'm just happy that I could be of service to everyone. That's my Medea. Well, it's high yes, time it's not I restored it's, my own visage. It's not going to work on him, is it? Uh-oh. What's wrong? Medea! Oh, my princess! Is it the kind of, like, you drink water and it happens, and you drink more water and it re-happens? What is this new devilry? It seems our celebrations were premature. Hmm. The curse placed upon the princess must be strong indeed. If the waters don't work, there is but one path left open to you. Destroy the curse maker. You must find yep. and defeat the one who placed the curse upon her. Dulmagus. It is the only way to restore the princess to her true form. You must persevere, no matter how long and hard the road ahead. And now I pray you'll excuse me. My old bones get chilled so easily. We still need the mirror. That's why we came here. I guess we gotta go back to his house now. After we talk to them and... Medea gazes sadly at the spring. Slurp. 
Let me guess it. Temporarily, that's her being not a horse. I'm terribly sorry to behave so selfishly, but I have a favor to ask. I'm only human for the briefest of moments after drinking from the spring, but it would make me very happy if you could bring me back here every now and then. I'd like to be able to talk to you again, just like we used to. Back at the castle, we can forget all about the curse, even if it's only for the few minutes we share together. Uh-oh. I can feel the enchantment wearing off. Bye. <laughs> You're a horse. Again. And kiss. Kiss the horse on the snoot. Consider it as a request from me as well. She asks for so little of us, it really is the least we can do. Actually, no. Think of it as an order. Very well. Now that that's decided, we can move on. Wait a moment. This won't do. You'll forget. He must be the man we heard about in Argonia. Yep. If I'm not mistaken, he knows something about the magic mirror. Yep, that's the whole reason I came out here. We got, like, very little time left, so I need to, like, get back to that dude's house and figure out what he needs us to do. I should still have some holy water active, so... He must be in his little study or whatever here. Yep, there he is. Can you, can you help me, old man? Ah, if it isn't the people I met at the spring. Well, well. Ah, 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 well. <laughs> ah. Ah, let me see. Uh, uh, can I help you with something? What? But the magic mirror is a royal heirloom. And you say King Clavius gave it to you? Oh. Oh. Yes, this is it. The sun mirror. Ah. Ah, a quite unmistakable feel it has. I'll never forget the first time I touched it in Argonia. But. Oh, yes. Oh dear, I'm not being very clear, am I? But now that all its magic has been lost, you... There was a bloke in a castle who said the same thing. That's why we're here to see you. Thought you could give us some assistation. Assistant, assistation. Uh, uh, I remember hearing long ago about a spell of blinding light. But if the mirror has lost that magic now, perhaps casting the same spell. The problem is, I can't remember what the spell was. Ah, of course, the sea dragon spell. Well. Just north of this land, you will find a stone arch bridging the straits. Oh, well, that looks like he a sea dragon. It cast a spell on him that left him blinded for a few moments. I suppose it's possible a, a bright light such as that could restore the magic to the mirror. You never know. It might just work. Try you. Ah, right, well, that's our answer. Now we can leave and I can save and we can end the stream. Thanks, old man. I'll just break your vase and leave. <laughs> Uh, lovely. We'll go to the desert chapel, and we'll, like, heal, save, and call the stream there. Because it should be a little, uh, in here. Is that you? 
Oh no, she's in my dreams. Just meeting like this. It was late, and I was thinking about wanting to talk to you. But I must have fallen asleep. Are we dreaming? We must be. Do you think this is another effect of the spring water? I really wanted to talk to you about Prince Charmless. I mean Charmles. Do you think people can change after they get married? I know, I know. I could also be quite self-centered when I was younger. Perhaps Prince Charmles will grow out of it too. Let us save. We got a lot of stuff done. We got a lot, we got, a lot, got a good amount of levels. Everyone's level 30 now, at least. And we got some story stuff done. Thanks for being here, Necky. Buh boy. <laughs> I shall be. I'll probably try to raid someone real quick, especially if they're also fundraising as well. So let me see, we will go ahead and close that, close that, and stream ending. Thank y'all so much for coming by and hanging out, and I appreciate y'all. Uh, let's see, let's take a look-see here, see if anyone's live that would be fundraising for, as part of also the stream team I'm with, let's see. Uh, hmm, let's see, uh, so far, no, but Digidragon is, stre is streaming, so we'll raid him, so, I'm going to end my stream, and then we will be raiding Digidragon 7, thank you so much, and if I don't see you tomorrow or Wednesday, then I'll see you next time, you have a great day.